guys, hope y'all are having a great day so far. I have already done a few of the chores that I do every day. So I've got the bedroom all vacuumed, bed is made. I also already have some laundry going and some laundry that is dried. So it needs to be folded later on, but I figured we would just jump on into this video and um, I would keep it interesting <laughs> and not show you guys the things that I do every day, like most videos. Um, but I do have a list and so the first thing on my list is to down all of the furniture in our bedroom and then the next thing on the list is my closet. It looks like a bomb went off in my closet and I had been so good about keeping up with my closet and it just exploded but I really do need to go upstairs and get all of my sweaters and like fall and winter clothes because I have been wanting to do some shopping and I'm like, I can't even remember the sweaters that I already have. And so I really need to go ahead and bring all of that down, even though it's not uh, that cold here or cold at all here yet. <laughs> I'm still wearing a sweater. I'm trying to bring on the, that fall mood. <laughs> but anyway, I really want to go upstairs, get all of my fall and winter clothes, bring those downstairs, get those hung up. So it's a perfect day to kind of just reevaluate the closet. So, um, that's next on the list. But anyway, I've got a list full, lots of things to do today. So grab your to-do list. I hope you guys clean along with me and let's go ahead and jump on in. We're on a turn. Looking back on the things that we've taken for granted But feels like we're learning To be better without what's been holding us back now Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Dancing closely together and staying forever young What about you and I then? Can we two find a way to align with each other? Let's move closer to a new history Find out what we can be together mm. Take my hand and we will conquer the world This is our final chance Furniture is wiped down. Everything is back in order here in the bedroom. Now it's time to go into the closet. I'm dreading this, but I'm gonna be so glad once it's done. So this is the closet. I can't even open my door all the way. Like, look at this, disaster. I don't even know where to begin. I'm probably gonna have to put the tripod up over there because there's like nowhere to put it up here. Like because I can't even get the door open. So you guys wouldn't even be able to see what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get started. So my closet was definitely one of those situations where it just starts to build and build and build. And before you know it, it's a complete disaster. But uh, we recently started going through all of our like memory boxes with the kids because we were telling them about how when we were dating, Justin and I weren't allowed to technically date yet and go out on dates unless we were like chaperoned. I was 14 and he was 17. Um, and his parents were definitely a lot more strict than 
than mine were, but we weren't allowed to like go out on dates yet. And so anytime we would see each other, it would be at church or with our youth group doing things outside of church. And anytime we would talk, it would be online. So we would get on there and chat or send each other emails. He didn't even have a cell phone yet. <laughs> Keep in mind, this was like 2004, 2005. And so, um, you know, getting online and chatting was just something you did back then. <laughs> anyway, whenever we would email each other or chat, I would always save those and then print them out and then put them in a notebook. I knew we were going to be married back then. <laughs> but now thinking about it, I'm like, that's kind of an obsessive girlfriend thing to do. Like, looking back, I'm like, I would have looked at myself like I was crazy. But now that we are married and in our 30s, it really is so sweet to have all of those chats printed out and in a notebook and we can just go back and read them anytime. But we were telling the kids about them and Julie in particular really wanted to read all of our chats and stuff. And they were just so sweet and innocent at that age. And um, so she had a lot of fun going through them and reading them. And it's always fun for Justin and I to have like a little at home day night and read through all of our uh, old chats and emails and stuff. And so anyway, I had all of that pulled out. And then I also had just decluttered the closet. And so that's why I've got all of these hangers just laid out on the floor, which was really good actually, because like I said, I'm going to be pulling out all of my winter clothes, my coats and sweaters and stuff. And so I really did need all of these extra hangers. So, um, but they definitely don't need to be on the floor. So I'm going to get all of those picked up and then I'm going to use them for my coats and sweaters later. Right now I'm standing in the corner I see you from across the room it's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh, everybody's singing, oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you, let me love you. Baby, let me love you, let me love you, let me love, let me love. Baby, let me love you. So the closet's all cleaned up, and I have. <laughs> You're so cute. I have my bags of winter and fall clothes brought down all of my coats and stuff like that. I also wanted to point out <laughs> Oh my goodness. Anyway, I also wanted to point out that these bags are worthless. I would not recommend them. Um, not only do they not stay like vacuum sealed as you can see like everything is sealed up perfectly like there should be no air leaking out but somewhere there is and no matter how many times I have vacuum sealed these they won't stay sealed and I have some pillows outside in some of these bags they also won't stay sealed so I have no idea what's going on I mean I've read the instructions on here done it perfectly and no matter what I do anyway I would not recommend these <laughs> I got them off of Amazon and I just had to say that. Also, they look very heavy duty, but whenever we were pulling these um, out of the closet upstairs, like this one just completely ripped and um, we weren't like pulling it from here or anything. It just like completely ripped open from the um, clothes in here and that was it. So anyway, I think after I get all the clothes out of here, I'm just going to throw these bags away because you can't use them, you know. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to start hanging all of these up. And I'm also going to watch Bella Fiore. She does true crime stuff. And I'm addicted to her stuff right now. So anyway, that's what I'm going to be doing while I hang up all these clothes. We're not okay. 
I look into your eyes and see you fade away But we're not the same It's like we're on two sides of the Milky Way Somehow we got used to the problems Baby, we got used to falling I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love Yeah, I just wanna lose Different paths laid out for you and me Cause baby I'm a true believer And I wanna stay true to my faith And I'm tired of feeling blue When I lose myself to love Yeah I just wanna lose some candles we got this kit from Target and we made the candles I'll show you guys in a minute but as you guys can see it made a huge mess this is all wax which I think some of it is just like peeling up but I know some of it is like stuck to the table like right here so I'm gonna grab my blow dryer and just try to melt that wax and see if I can get all this pulled up actually a lot of it's coming up with the paper towel. Okay, looks like this part is gonna be kind of tricky. Um, but anyway, I need to get all this cleaned up. I didn't feel like doing it last night, so it needs to be done today. But these are the candles that we made. She had so much fun. Um, you got to pick like your colors that you could put in there. So this one you can see is kind of pink and the scent in here is mostly strawberry, but there's also like rose and a few other things. This one is mostly, I wanna say orange and gardenia, something like that, I don't know, but we had a lot of fun making these. I'll link the little kit for you guys because she just had so much fun. I know some of you guys are gonna want um, the link for y'all's kids because She's already wanting another one. And I even had fun doing this. I thought it was so cool. So um, yeah, I'll link it down below for you guys. If you love me, let me hear you say my name, my name. If you love me, let me hear you, babe. Cause I wonder if you feel the same, same. Or just tell me if you feel the same.
cleaned up. I'm out here in the garage. You can see behind me, I still have all of my like fall decorations in this laundry basket. And if you missed that video or any video where I decorate, I talk a lot about how I like to have an empty laundry basket to put like all of my decor in while I'm going around the house. And that way, you know, I can carry a lot at one time. It just makes things so much easier, but I never unloaded all of this stuff. So it's just been sitting in my garage in this laundry basket. And I would really like to get all of that back on the shelf. So not only do I need to get all of this stuff put away, but I ended up going to Home Goods yesterday and I got a lot of new Halloween decor and I wanted to give you guys the haul because I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it, put it out here on the shelves as well. And um, that way I can see everything that I have when I'm ready to decorate next week. So I literally have a bed full of decorations. So grab a Snickers or something because this is going to be a minute. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a few things that I got that aren't holiday related because they are just gorgeous and the price was just amazing. So I got these candle stands in this cobalt blue color. It's kind of see-through as well. Um, but this one was $9.99 and this one was $14.99. Look how big that is. I mean, normally you will not find candle stands for that price and this gorgeous. So had to get these. Not only did I get these, but I also got some white ones with gray specks. And um, you can see this one right here is a little bit bigger than this one. So this one was $12.99. But then um, this one is as big as the other blue one that I got, and it was also $14.99. Um, but look how pretty they are. They've got like these gray specks in them, but I thought these would be so pretty to decorate with for Halloween, but not just for Halloween. Um, and I could put like some pumpkins on top of them or something, maybe some little jack-o'-lanterns. Speaking of that, look how cute this thing is. It's a little pumpkin with two faces and this was only $5.99 but wouldn't that be so cute just sitting on there maybe get some greenery or some leaves to go around it something like that my wheels are turning so much I am so ready to decorate for Halloween I have been holding back every day I just wake up like oh, I'm ready to decorate for Halloween and I'm like calm down wait until next week. My sister's coming next week and so she's going to be helping me and I'm like just wait until she's here and you've got a little bit more help and uh, we're also thinking of doing some TikTok videos which I've I don't have a TikTok yet. She's like Megan you need a TikTok and we'll do some decor things and stuff and so I'm like okay. So anyway I'm having to wait until she gets here but it's killing me. I, I cannot wait. Most of you guys know I have a Halloween Molly and it looks exactly like our Black Lab Molly especially because it's kind of decorated like a skeleton but half the face is white like in all the places where her face is white and then down the back kind of looks like a skeleton and I got it from Cracker Barrel gosh I want to say like four or five years ago maybe and so this year I'm like I really want a Halloween Bailey and that's our golden doodle. You've seen him in this video. <laughs> but look at this. I, I don't know if this is technically a golden doodle. It might be a cocker spaniel. No, it, it looks like a golden doodle, right? I don't know, but I was like close enough. And this was $14.99 and they did have some other dogs there too. I think I saw a pug um, and another dog. But when I saw this, I was like, yes, finally. I mean, I've been looking online and everything and I could not find any golden doodle Halloween decor. And I finally got one. Next up, I ended up getting these like mummy gnomes and it has a little boo on there in like the Ray Dunn font, but they've got these pink beards and I'm going to put these in Julie's room because her bedroom is going to be black, white, and pink. And I already have a pillow for her bed and it's pink and it has like a ghost on there. And um, I think it says something like too cute to scare or something like that, but it's really cute. 
And when I saw these, I was like, this is gonna go perfect with that pillow. Next thing I ended up getting were these wooden pumpkins. And I thought these would be pretty to decorate with not only for Halloween, but also um, for fall too. So I might go ahead and put these out somewhere, but these were $14.99 and I did get two of them because I was thinking if I ever want to balance something out, like maybe on two different hay bales or something like that, then um, these would be perfect. And I just love the color. It's very bright. You know, sometimes when you're looking for Halloween decor, it can be like a darker orange. So whenever I see this bright orange, I snatch it up. Next thing I ended up getting was this little clown here. He reminds me of A Nightmare Before Christmas, like one of the ones that's trying to steal Santa Claus or something, but so cute. And this was $16.99 but I just absolutely loved it. And I could think of a million places to put this guy. So I had to have him. And then I also got this pillow and this pillow was I'm trying to find the price. Um, actually I, Oh, here it is. Um, this was $24.99, but it goes with all of the decor perfectly that I have. I mean, so cute, right? I don't even know where I'm going to put this yet, but I had to have it. Also ended up getting these three pumpkins. They're all attached, these jack-o'-lanterns, and it also has like this gold tint to it, so I thought this would be very glam as well, and this was only $20, $19.99. So wait until you guys see one thing that I'm going to be doing. It's going to be like the main attraction when it comes to my Halloween decor, and at the moment, I'm trying to figure out if I'm putting it in the living room or in the homeschool room. And it's only because my kids have broken a lot of things lately by throwing things around in the house or getting too rowdy. I swear my kids are rowdier now than they have ever been. Like when I used to decorate when they were toddlers and stuff, I would get tons of people like commenting saying that's not going to last. And I'm like, yeah, it actually does. Like my kids never mess with my home decor. Now they're... They're, how old are my kids? <laughs> Seven and eight. And they have friends coming over and I love their friends. I mean, honestly, like I adore their friends. They have the best friends, but they get rowdy at this age. And so I'm trying to decide if I can put this stuff, the main attraction that I ended up thinking of in the living room or if I'm gonna have to move it to the homeschool room. But it's basically like, uh, um, a backdrop for photography and it's huge and it's like a little fence and it's got a blue sky and a full moon and a little jack-o-lantern sitting on the fence and I was really gonna bring it to life with like hay bales and pumpkins and stuff like that and so I was gonna my original thought was to put it in the corner like where our Christmas tree normally goes so in that corner with the balloon chair um, but now I'm like, Ugh, are they too rowdy right now? If I do decide it can't go there, I'm still going to use that, but I'll just put it in the homeschool room and kind of theme the homeschool room around that. But anyway, long story long, <laughs> um, like I said, I'm putting hay bales down there um, to kind of bring that picture that story to life. And I really wanted a lantern to go to sit on one of the hay bales and have like a little jack-o'-lantern beside it. So I ended up picking up this one because the only uh, lantern that I have is in our bedroom and it's mustard. And I did think, well, I can spray paint it to be like a white color or something brighter, but I, I wanna keep it in the bedroom. Like I'm really happy with it in here. So I was like, I, I just need to get another lantern. So I ended up getting this one, which I really like because it has a candle built in. So no matter how you tip it, the candle is staying put. So I really like that. Um, and this was, I'm trying to find the price on this one. I want to say, yeah, this was $29.99. Um, but also I love it because I can use this year round too. So it doesn't have to be for Halloween, even though that's why I bought it. So I am a sucker for these little tin characters and I started my collection a few years ago and it wasn't even a collection 
but it's become a collection this year because I got this one and another one and they're gonna go perfect with the one that I already had. So anyway, this Ghost Witch is just too cute. And this was, I wanna say 20, yeah, $24.99. And then I also ended up getting this one, which was $24.99 and the eyes light up. So you just stick batteries in the back and the eyes will light up. Um, but it's, they're both already on a stand, so you can stand them up anywhere. But let me show you guys the one that I bought years ago and kind of it's spiraling now. And I can see this becoming a whole collection. So do you guys remember my little jack-o'-lantern guy? I actually ended up adding these eyes on him last year, but I had him sitting on our kitchen island last year. And I've had this guy for about four years, I think. And he came from Hobby Lobby, not Hobby Lobby, Home Goods too. And uh, when I found this ghost this year, I immediately thought of this because the hat and the bow tie and his pants match perfectly. So these two are definitely going together. And then also, I don't think this is from the same maker, but I feel like the witch just matches with this really good too. So how cute are all of these? I can definitely see me adding to my little 10 character collection every year. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end today's video leave it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you are new here and in case you guys want some more cleaning motivation I'm gonna leave some more of my videos up here on the screen for you guys and I'll see y'all next time bye